Hello everybody, my name is Josh and today we're going to play Find Love or Die Trying. Uh, this is part 4 if you guys haven't noticed and part 1 and 2 is obviously terrible so if you watch this video then you know the other ones are terrible, uh, the old ones are terrible because I'm just warning you for the future and that's dogs barking right there. But anyway, let's get started straight away to get as much as I can finish, I can finish this game for the first time. I'm not going to be able to do any secret endings or part 900 or something like that for this game. There has to be other games in this channel as well. It's not just Fire and Love or Die Trying. I like story novels and this is really cool. So let's get started in the morning. The girls and I decided to hang out in the garden outside the house. Ooh, I, I forgot everything. <laughs> That's weird. Okay. Ah, oh, Yui, Scarlet. Oh, oh wow. There's all kinds of flowers here that I had never seen here before. Really? Really? You've never seen a tulip? Grandma and I only grew he hiked. I don't know what that is back home. No, so nope, not even on the internet. And I thought I had to get out more. <laughs> I can believe that the only flowers I ever worked with are Venus flytraps. Oh, cool. Venus flytraps. I only, I only call them flytraps in South Africa. Okay, what do you do with those? Well, we do a lot of experiments at the lab. You a scientist? Don't you ever get, find yourself thinking, wouldn't it be cool to make a Venus flytrap that could walk and talk? <laughs> I don't want that to happen. I like my life. Yeah, I would be quiet as well. Let's read never. Uh, it's whatever. She ran away two years ago. <laughs> so there was an experiment at a, a, a plant that ran away or slithered away. I don't know how you're going to pronounce a, a, a root based fly catcher to walk away <laughs> both na my neighbors lost their pet cats the same day too <sighs> how big is it i miss you fluffy you sure <laughs> you sure they were lost tea's ready thanks violet i got a cup for everybody the aroma and the tea really worked up my my appetite i have prepared some treats for us all as well Please enjoy. We spent the rest of the morning eating delicious treats and sipping on delicious tea as we theorized what ha might have happened to Fluffy. Oh, it's sad. Personally, my money is on the felines being the c curl pits. Every cat, every cat I've met has had a nasty surprise up their sleeve. That's not how you spell cat. I figure it's about time to talk with cats about my next date, but I felt a tap on my back. Cat! Cat, is that? I turned around, and the girl in front of me was as surprised as I was. Cat, no, this is Ellie. Oh, sorry, Emily. What's up? She looked to see if anyone else was around before we spoke. She spoke. Have you ever noticed anything weird lately? What do you mean? Oh wait. Whoa. Four o'clock, alarm, four o'clock, start editing, start recording. Ugh. Okay, something about it, something about the show give me the creeps. I went out for a walk in the forest last night, you know, cause it's gorgeous and all. Let me just get loud, I can't hear myself. There we go. Oh, misty and mysterious. Misty, misty, busy. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to get my chair closer, but I'm scared the uh, focus gets out. But after I got there, I must have dozed off for a minute taking a nap in the forest at night you braver than most <laughs> Ellie let me finish when I woke up I was back in my room on my bed and I swear I don't remember ever walking back uh that sounds pretty crazy if it's real if it really happened <laughs> you sure you didn't have just w had a weird dream now that you mention it, I tried Scarlet's cooking for fun last night. That was a big mistake. Maybe I'm just imagining things, but... Did you notice anything strange happening last night? Happened last night? I don't think so. It was just a regular night. I had a conversation with Kat in my room, but that was it. Damn! Five girls to dead wasn't enough, huh? <laughs> no, it doesn't, it's not like that. It's not like that. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> uh, well, I guess I, I will just be staying away from Scarlet cooking and chalk it up to a weird ass dream. <laughs> Thanks for listening, Tequila. Anytime, Ellie. Uh, it's my pleasure, Ellie. 
See you later. <laughs> she narito. Ah, Skadusha, Sonic dash away. She ran off just as fast as she had come intent in Italy. Initially, there we go. Someone's in a hurry. Hey, cat, I was looking for you. Afternoon, Tequila. Same here. I wanted to ask, did did you guys do anything last night to Ali? <laughs> not what that, uh, not that I know of. Our staff leaves the cast alone at night. I guess there's nothing to worry about. Cat's been honest with me so far about everything. I don't want to trust her. She doesn't want to be my date, so I'm not gonna trust her at all. <laughs> right. Anyway, more importantly, it's time for phase two. You've done pretty decently with setting up Tura and Yuri as your soulmate candidates. People are eating it up. The romance, whatever. More importantly, every time they're on screen, we we get on hell of, of a rating boost. From here on out, you'll only be going on dates with either of them. That be that'll be your best bet to get out of here alive. That sounds good to you. You almost make it sound like I have a choice. <laughs> I don't have a choice at all. I'm glad we're on the same page as always, Tequila. You make it so, so simple, but I have no free will at all. I don't even know what the dream is about. I'm trying to think here. But enough with the pleasant pleasantries. Who's the unlucky girl today? Unlucky. Ha, ha, ha. I guess I'd like to spend the day with... No, this is this is sad, you know. Yui is a nice person, and uh, I really liked her conversation. She was very, she's very calm, cute, and then, and Tara is my kind of personality that I I look into a girl. You know, I I personally would love a game of girl. I don't know how to explain it. I don't have a list anyway. But hard choice. Pick a random number, gang. Put on down in the comments below which number and which one did you guys choose. I don't know why I said that, but anyway, subscribe and like if you came this far and watched the whole s series of try uh, Find Love or Die Trying, even though this is probably like a 10 year old video. I don't know. I'm talking to myself. Anyway, let's go with. Okay, this is difficult. It is a choice. Okay, I have. This is day four, day three to day four. So I got three days to four days left. So let's go with Terra. Terra again. Terra. I think it's Terra. I believe it's Terra. Terra. All right, sounds like a plan to me. I think she's working on something in the ma in mansion. Lead the way. Oh yeah, the show is about to start, people. <laughs> the show is about to start. I knocked on the door to the games room. She's always in the games room, of course. She stands there, looking at me with these beautiful eyes. <laughs> hey, Tikela, what's up? I thought I'd check in and see how you're doing with your game. Let me show you what I, I'm working on. Then, Terra handed me her game device. Not all, not all the arts ready yet, but I'm hoping it will be done soon. It's a farming game. Is it chicken farming? <laughs> I had to ditch the pigeon dating idea after all, while finding out it was already done. That's really a shame for the whole world, really. But in this game, you get to live in a village out in the country, make friends, raise crops, and decimate all the invaders with your giant mesh pigeon death machine. And there's one million possible weapon combinations, and that sounds that's different. That sounds different. That's so that sounds cool. Wow, that sounds cool. I'd love to play it. I'm curious. How come you decide to make a farming game? Um, good question. They've just, they, they've just got a special place in my heart. I used to just play these morning till night every day. You can probably tell I'm not a really a go out and party kind of person. Same here, I'm an introvert. To be honest, I don't know enough people to go out to parties anyway, but whatever. Sometimes it's more fun to just be on your own, do your own thing. Hey, it's your choice on how to spend your, your time. Yes, there we go. Ah, it's your life. It's your, ch it's your choice on how to spend your time. Just do what you want, you know? That's pretty much how I feel about it. Enough talk. Try playing it. I want to see how you feel about it. All right, here we go. We're gonna play a video game. The tile screen displayed with a click. Star Blue Valley. I was a Metro pilot who got tired of life in a Metro Corpse. Uh, corpse? <laughs> 
and decided to move out on the country to become a farmer. I was a pretty good one at that. Every season I learned to plant, water and harvest new kinds of crops. Tara would give me advice for farming in every season. Her face was so close to mine, she'd watch my every move with a pat pensive expression. Farming and fishing felt great, but fishing was almost impossible to do at first. The meta parts of the game felt incredible. You would even get to know the villagers and have relationship with them too. There are just one thing that was a bit weird. First, wow, what you have so far is incredible, Terra. A day, day old made, made game, you know, that's cool. I th you think so? Yeah, really, it's incredible. I never thought you could combine farming and being a matcha pilot in the same game, but you did it just fine. Thanks, Tequila. That's nice of you to say. There's just one thing I think that was a little off. What's that? Any feedback would be great. I feel like the relationship with the townspeople were a little weird. The dating aspect didn't really feel right. I, uh, I knew you'd notice that. It's kind of embarrassing, but I've never actually dated before, so I have no idea what, what it's really like. And to be honest, I've never really had a real friend either. If it's not too much to ask, her voice suddenly reduced to a whisper. Maybe you and I could be friends? I'd be honored to be your friend. Really, I do. That said, please don't trap me in a video game again. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> Watching you play gave me some ideas. Want to help me with testing them? Sure, I'd be happy to help however I can. I, we both suggested ideas, she implanted it, and we tested together and repeat. It just kept getting better and better. Tara's smile and th enthusiasm was contagious. I couldn't help but to be excited for her and in the aware of a drive of our drive. Sorry, I I, I got confused because it was so much big words. We spent in the re uh, we spent the rest of the day working on her game, but it only felt like minutes. I'm just glad it wasn't another virtual reality game. Yeah, virtual reality sucks. Comment down below if you like virtual reality. Yeah, we'll, we'll check it out and it'll, it'll make more virtual reality games. Oh, I can't see. Ah, oh, my eyes. Oh, 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 oh. It was about to turn in. Um, I was about to turn in for the night, then I heard a knock on my door. Obviously, cat. Hey, cat. I thought you weren't coming to come over tonight. Sorry about that. I got tied up in. I got tied up in some things. Is everything? Is everything okay? Good as always. Yeah, you hide in something. There's always something wrong. Everything has something wrong. Oh, okay. Care for? Care to join me for a walk? Sure. That sounds nice. Then away we go. Oh, night. Oh no, we just skipped. That was so cool. We walked and. At a relaxed place with cats slightly ahead leading, leading the way. You still feeling Terra? Ah, uh, I still like Terra uh, the most. I obviously do. Terra is still the girl I like the most. If anything, getting to meet and know the other girls made me feel like her even more. There's no one I'd rather spend a day with than Terra, you know? There's nothing quite like that. She's gonna change it, she's gonna change it. Oh, that's cute. Oh, so a perfect answer for the cameras. Thank you very much. I guess you'll be giving Terra's fan base some more things to go a bit over soon. Hmm? Rabbit. You can stay. You can say that again. Perfect. Well, I'm happy you at least got one girl that you're really interested in. But it helps you've got chemistry with both. Tomorrow, you'll be going out, out on a date with your other soulmate candidate instead. Let's mark this love triangle for... A, it all it's worth sounds good to you i'm noticing a pattern in making it sound like i have a choice when i have really when i really don't i know that none of us really have a choice nowadays i'm afraid all right i gotta get back to editing today for today's footage you ready to head back in the mansion sounds good to me we walked back in a comfortable silence oh that's so beautiful night see you later cat I'll go back, back to my room. I slowly close my eyes. Quiet. <laughs> if we get caught trying to escape, there's no telling what would happen to us. It's a chance we have to take. I know, but we need to know what we're up against. We know the island better than anyone by now. To kill her, we'd be fine. I'm not sure. Damien's brought in the scientist for his latest experiment. All I have heard is that she 
she's the one who built the prototype the one damien used to turn sex into vegetable not to mention the old test audience too <laughs> i think they must have killed at least a hundred people by now and they still haven't perfected it if you get caught i get what you're trying to say are you still with me on this it's not it's not too late you don't even have to ask of course i'm with you oh who are you somehow i know you're close by but every time i try to see your face the dream ends day four second second go interesting oh look everyone's here the girls and I kicked off a morning by testing out Terra's game together. It was multiplayer now, so we all could play together in the same world. This came with its own fair share of consequences. Huh. I said cover me, or you'll have to finish making dinner yourself. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying. There's just too many mutant vegetables attacking. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mutant vegetables? Sounds oily. <laughs> Yui, I need you to cover me. Where are you? I'm sorry. It's the mayor's birthday and I can't decide which berry to give him. Hey, <laughs> can't wait. <laughs> but then I won't uh then I won't get bonus points. Come to think of it, I think we're running low on tomatoes and carrots. Do you do you need any violet? Uh we have enough to survive the winter, but more supplies are always welcome. I'm on it. <laughs> this is so cool. Girls are playing games. I just haven't seen four players. Uh, five of them play Video games at once, all girls by the way. Well, the game's definitely gotten more exciting. I wanted them to test the relationship, but maybe that will have to wait a bit. I guess we'll see that see next time. Yeah, next time I can't wait. We spent the rest of the morning playing Terra's game. So I'm going with Yuri tonight, today. Ah, my head. You okay? You don't look so good. Nah, not so loud. <laughs> my head's killing me after I had a ton of wine last night. I still had to edit a broadcast after that, which didn't help. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the woman who decides what, whether I get to live or die every night. And she was very, very drunk when she did the, uh, just that. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I'll be there all week. I'll be here all week. Clearly, you're still alive, Taka. So it's all good. Believe me, you drink too if you worked here. Just look at the brothers vibe. Looking, working at a futuristic corp, T trademark, has to come with a, some benefits, right? If you think. But we still have to pay for dental out of pocket. <coughs> Before I, I forget what the show is all about, today is the day you go on a date with... Who was your other soulmate again? I'm, I'm going to be quiet. Maybe I can... Oh, dang it. I thought I could trick her. Dang it. Yui. How much did you drink last night, Cat? Whatever. I knew that. Just testing you. Duh. Right. All right. Let's get uh, the second date with Yui started. Woo! Woo! Someone tell the world to stop spreading like the little. Uh, pretty. I'm pretty much. Huh? <laughs> I'm not gonna say those stuff. I'm never gonna say in my life. <laughs> I could see Yui waving at me from the top of the hill. Hey there, Tequila. It's nice to see you again. It's nice to see you too, Yui. You wanted to show me something? Now that I was closer, I could see Yui was holding one hand behind her back. Hiding something, Yui? Believe me, it's the most amazing thing you'll ever see. you ever seen. Behold! A bunny. It's a bunny! Oh! It was indeed a bunny. Where did this little guy come from? To be honest, I've got no idea. I wonder if he's a wild one or maybe someone's pet. I've asked around, but it doesn't look like he belongs to anybody. So I, I've i been taking care of him since I found him. I just couldn't help myself, you know? Yuri's smile was as earnest as could be. Didn't you have a pet bunny back home? I had two, Bun Bun and Bun and Bun Bun. Both of them are total recoils, <laughs> but Bun 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 was here is a good boy aren't you bun 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 she nuzzled against bun bun bun's head yes you are nuzzle nuzzle we played with the bunny for a little while she picked a bunny up and held them into her heart and <laughs> bun bun looked quite in contact 
content. You know, you're pretty amazing with animals, Yuri. Well, I've been surrounded by animals my whole life. Back at the, my house, well, to be honest, it was more of a barn than anything. Since my brothers were, were too young, my grandma was getting up there. I'd take care of all the animals. Grandma's taken care of them ever since they were born. My parents were supposed to take care of them after grandma had retired, but, well, you know, life happens. I'm just glad to have what I have. Ah. Uh, Bun Bun had managed to squeeze out of the hands and ran off. We gotta catch him. <laughs> Let's go. On it. I ran as fast as I could after Bun 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 was. But it. After Bun Bun Bun. But it was not. No use. The distance kept uh, widening. Before long, we couldn't even see him anymore. Sorry. I couldn't catch him. He was really fast for something so small. Ah, oh, don't worry about it. Bum Bum Bun likes to do this all the time. He's a bit m mischievous, mischievous, and mischievous, mischievous. But he won't do anything dangerous. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, we well, we can take our time looking for him. Yeah, I'm gonna look in the walk in the forest. You know, if you're willing to help, of course, Yui. I'm here all day with you. We started walking towards where we uh, last saw Bum Bum Bun right after we caught our breath again. Gosh, isn't it so nice to be outside? The, s the smell of fresh air, the breeze. There's nothing like it. There, there really isn't. I smiled. At first, I was really excited to, uh, to go to the city. There's so many people. There's so many people, so many things to do. So many beautiful things. And most of all, I got to meet you. Shucks, uh, shucks. you're going to make me blush. She laughed as sl and slapped me in the arm. Oh, oh. <laughs> Some cold drink as I go along. <laughs> ha. Oh, energy boost. Even so, the city is just not my thing. It's a little bit funny though. The reason I had to come home all of a sudden was the ter was terrible. I. A little part of me was glad to be home. Ever had that kind of feeling before? I have. It's strange. But sometimes there's a good and a bad. And sometimes that good can outweigh the bad. Exactly. You get it. Tequila. My family's never been closer. And that's all I want. They told me to make a lot of money in the city. Make something of myself. That's all that. It's... It might seem old-fashioned, but I just want to put m the people I love first. Sorry. I'm saying I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry at all. That's all I got in life, really. I'm curious. What do you put first in life? Family, career, happiness. Ah. But if you're going to talk about real me, I'll put family first. That's... That I have to be family, no doubt. Oh. Is that so? I think we'd make a great team then. Definitely, Yui. Oh, it's gonna be so sad leaving her to go for tequila. I'm te te tequila! I'm tequila! Oh, I forgot her name already. I'm just so blushed. Yeah, look at this, and I'm drinking now. <laughs> we talked for several hours about what we wanted out of our life. We seemed to match by perf up perfectly. I was beaming with whole time. The beaming the whole time. It was hard to believe that. It's Bun Bun Bun? Yui pointed in front of us, and sure enough, there was Bun Bun chomping on a bush. <laughs> what the? <laughs> I'd never seen anyone move so fast. Yui just des descended on Bun Bun <laughs> Bun like a hawk and grabbed him in, a, in an instant. You are going back to your den, you bad little bunny. But I'm happy you're safe. She nuzzled her face against her his fur. Bun 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 was practically purring with delight. I don't know how... Oh, dang it! Is that what the sound was? I heard something weird. Have a quick... I need to play this quickly. Then she looked right at me. I can promise I could give her the most exciting life with the most twisted and turns around every corner. But I can... Promise that if you chose me, I'd always be your side, on your side, no matter what. So I'm never gonna die. Where am I gonna die? Is there any way I'm gonna die? I don't think I could die. Wherever you you were, I'll come running always. 
This is sad. No. She took a step towards me and kissed my cheek. We locked eyes, and for that time, all I could see was her and her how beautiful she was. Bun 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 seemed to be a little jealous after that. Thanks again for the help, Tequila. Being with you made this all go a lot faster and made it really special to me. Anytime you, I'm happy to. We walked back together in the mansion, holding hands and smiling all the while. All the while. <sighs> Terror. I was, I was feeling too restless after today date, today's date, to wait in my room. So I went for a walk downstairs. I unfortunately had to stop this video for the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. This was Fine Level Die Trying, and I'm speaking like I know everything, like I've been scripting this. There's definitely not a paper in front of me. Why am I looking away? Ah, you're there. I'm doing this again like the previous video. Uh, ugh, excuse me. Please like and subscribe because this will help my channel grow much faster and make better content. I love the style I'm making now. This is pretty good. I'm keeping looking away from the camera again because I can't see the camera. It's so dark down there. Behind you. There's something behind you, definitely. It's probably a teddy, but it's still there. But anyway, this was a nice game. I want to play again, definitely. And I'll probably play it right after this, just to catch up with everything and play day four and day five. But okay, let's, can let's cancel. This is going too far. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.